The United Nations High Commissioner for Refugees is a UN agency mandated to aid and protect refugees, forcibly displaced communities, and stateless people, and to assist in their voluntary repatriation, local integration or resettlement to a third country. It is headquartered in Geneva, Switzerland. With over 17,300 staff working in 135 countries, UNHCR was created in 1950 to address the refugee crisis that resulted from World War II. The 1951 Refugee Convention established the scope and legal framework of the agency work, which initially focused on Europeans uprooted by the war. Beginning in the late 1950s, displacement caused by other conflicts, from the Hungarian uprising to the decolonization of Africa and Asia, broadened the scope of UNHCR's operations, commensurate with the 1967 Protocol to the Refugee Convention, which expanded the geographic and temporal scope of refugee assistance. UNHCR operated across the world, with the bulk of its activities in developing countries. By its 65th anniversary in 2015, the agency had assisted more 50 million refugees worldwide. As of June 2020, UNHCR has over 20 million refugees under its mandate. Consequently, its annual budget has grown from US 300,000 United States dollars in 1951 to US 8.6 billion United States dollars in 2019, making it one of the largest UN agencies by expenditure. The vast majority of UNCHR's budget comes from voluntary contributions, mostly from member states. The largest donors are the United States, the European Union, and Germany. The agency work includes providing protection, shelter, healthcare and emergency relief, assisting in resettlement and repatriation, and advocating for national and multilateral policies on behalf of refugees. In recognition of its work, UNHCR has won two Nobel Peace Prizes, in 1954 and 1981 and a Prince of Asturias Awards for International Cooperation in 1991. It is a member of the United Nations Development Group, a consortium of organizations dedicated to sustainable development, following the demise of the League of Nations and the formation of the United Nations The. International community was acutely aware of the refugee crisis following the end of World War II. In 1947, the International Refugee Organization was founded by the United Nations. The IRO was the first international agency to deal comprehensively with all aspects of refugees' lives. Preceding this was the United Nations Relief and Rehabilitation Administration which was established in 1944 to address the millions of people displaced across Europe as a result of World War II. In the late 1940s, the euro fell out of favor, but the UN agreed that a body was required to oversee global refugee issues. Despite many heated debates in the General Assembly, the United Nations High Commissioner for Refugees was founded as a subsidiary organ of the General Assembly by Resolution 319 of the United Nations General Assembly of December 1949. However, the organization was only intended to operate for three years, from January 1951, due to the disagreement of many UN member states over the implications of a permanent body. UNHCR's mandate was originally set out in its statute, annexed to Resolution 428 of the United Nations General Assembly of 1950. This mandate has been subsequently broadened by numerous resolutions of the General Assembly and its Economic and Social Council. According to UNHCR, its mandate is to provide, on a non-political and humanitarian basis, international protection to refugees and to seek permanent solutions for them. Soon after the signing of the 1951 Convention relating to the status of refugees, it became clear that refugees were not solely restricted to Europe. In 1956, UNHCR was involved in coordinating the response to the uprising in Hungary. Just a year later, UNHCR was tasked with dealing with Chinese refugees in Hong Kong, while also responding to Algerian refugees who had fled to Morocco and Tunisia in the wake of Algeria's war for independence. The responses marked the beginning of a wider global mandate in refugee protection and humanitarian assistance. 
Decolonization in the 1960s triggered large refugee movements in Africa, creating a massive challenge that would transform UNHCR. Unlike the refugee crises in Europe, there were no durable solutions in Africa, and many refugees who fled one country only found instability in their new country of refuge. By the end of the decade, two-thirds of UNHCR's budget was focused on operations in Africa and in just one decade, the organization's focus had shifted from an almost exclusive focus on Europe. In 1967, the protocol relating to the status of refugees was ratified to remove the geographical and temporal restrictions of UNHCR under the 1951 Convention relating to the status of refugees. As the convention was confined to the refugee crisis in the aftermath of World War II in Europe, the protocol was made to address the new refugee situations that have arisen since the convention was adopted and the refugees' concern.